you have to be open to learning. You, your relationships are schools that you never graduate from. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I am Shandia. Yo, I'm doing better. Like, I'm not forgetting to introduce myself in all the videos lately like i used to and i'll be like welcome back to my channel and then head into the video but welcome back to my channel i am shadia if you are new this is your first time coming here stopping by thank you so much make sure you do like this video comment like and subscribe well if you are an old subscriber you are a returning viewer who is not subscribed please do subscribe like and comment also ring the notification to know when i do upload because that is the only way you're gonna know when i do upload now let's get into the juice also watch this video till the end please please watch this video to the end so in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about a things life never prepares you for you know, there are a lot of things people talk to us about. Like, people are going to talk to you about, oh my God, do this, do that, do it. in life. Like, people are going to be motivation. But these things, no matter how motivated you are, no matter how much motivational content you take in, no, no matter who you listen to, no, no matter what, these things, no one, no one is going to prepare you for them. Like, you grow up and just be ready to face them. Just grow up and wait and number one number one the number one thing life is not never ever gonna prepare you for other bills <laughs> when you grow up bills are going to keep coming and I, I don't know how to make this a sound in caps yo bills are hectic bills are chaotic and when you grow up, you're going to be dealing with bill after bill after bill after bill. After... Like, bills don't care if you have money. Bills don't care if you're employed. Bills don't care. Bills don't care. Bills are going to be coming in. You will have to pay for your life. You're literally going to pay for breathing. <laughs> you being alive is enough for you to be paying bills. And I, I don't know. Like, life is never... I can't even tell you. Like, there is no way. There is no way... You're not gonna face this. There is <laughs> there is no way you're gonna run away from bills. Like there is no way, guys. There is no way. I, I, I think people can trick this if you still have your parents and they're still okay with you staying at home. Uh well, that those are shadow bills, and I recommend that. I highly recommend that. I know people do talk about freedom and stuff, independence and stuff, but that's struggle that comes with independence that will be a talk for another day so if you still have a home stay at home like yo yo guys please do not trash don't don't trash yourself out of your mama's home and even when you're still there you will still have to pay a couple of bills like okay you don't have to pay like intense bills but there are bills that are gonna come in your you you gotta you know dip into your pocket and pay something so imagine being alone imagine imagine small you eh? <laughs> this world doesn't even care you're going to pay bills honey you're going to pay bills no matter how no matter when no matter where you're gonna pay bills so number two something like okay it's okay to listen to people while they're talking about this but take everything people say with a pinch of salt because everybody's experience is different the second thing uh this world is never gonna prepare you for our relationships love eh? <laughs> nothing honey boo baby nothing nothing is going to prepare you for relationships and their roller coasters not your relationships are hard <laughs> love is hard relationships are hard and i don't yo it's okay go to seminars it's okay go to counseling it's okay read books it's okay listen to people but your experience is always going to be different the person you're dealing with is always going to be different which makes your ex and let me tell you guys when you think you've got it all figured out in this relationship and it doesn't work out 
you're gonna face and 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 you head into another relationship. Things are going to be different. The things you worked on in this relationship may not even make sense in the other relationship. So you always gotta go back to zero. You know, I mean, why are relationships supposed to be hard? Like this is something God created for us to enjoy. You know, to to enjoy each other's companionship, love each other. But yo, <laughs> hey, hey, relationships are hard guys and no matter how much information you gather about relationships and probably marriage love you know intimate love where there is a that where you're interested in someone you know it's always gonna be hard you have to put in the work you you have to be open to learning you your relationships are schools that you never graduate from unless you say you're done you know you're gonna be alone uh for life which is also a good decision because yo I will <laughs> yo if you can stay away from a relationship eh? <laughs> hey please because men and women should just leave each other alone <laughs> the other thing that nothing is gonna prepare you for is change yo life is going to change drastically dramatically everything cully you know I, I don't know like when you're growing up you you just want to it's not like you want to be comfortable but i in my case you want to be happy you want to hold on to some things that make you happy yo as soon as you're comfortable here change change comes like i don't know i don't know like change is going to keep coming sometimes change is good there is some good change and then there is some bad change so you just gotta pivot you gotta be ready for change because things are going to change things are going to change you know in uh in your relationships in your marriage in your family things are going to keep changing things are going to change in your friendships things are going to change in your family things are going to change in your job things like your location is going to change the the amount of people is, you know is going to change your network is going to change your finances are going to change like things change like you know one minute you're comfortable like yo i'm happy here oh my god thank you blah 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 blah. next week you're like how did i get here like what what's going on you know so you really gotta be ready no one is gonna tell you how to navigate around change how how to deal with change blah 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 you know so you just gotta be ready for that too. the other thing is loss yo um no one is going to tell you how to deal with loss no one is going to tell you when loss is going to come no one is ever going to tell you how to let loss make you feel if i even make sense you know i mean like nothing in this life prepares you for for loss be it uh you know life no one is gonna tell you how it hits you when you lose someone no one no no one can sit you down and explain to you how how it feels how long the pain is gonna take how you have to navigate through it no one is gonna tell you that no one is gonna prepare you for when you lose money for when you lose friends for when you lose your partners for for when things just for when loss just comes into your life no one's gonna prepare you for that and you know when when you lose something and you go through it you think oh now i'm done you know it's not like i'm done but now i know how to deal with this and then another loss hits you and you're like a baby who's learning to crawl like you don't know you don't know what to do with yourself you don't know what to do with the time you don't know what to do in such situations so every loss comes with its dynamics i don't know like and nobody's gonna sit you down and tell you everything about that apart from time makes it easier sometimes time doesn't even make it easier mm -mm, time doesn't even make it go away so you gotta teach that yourself you you gotta experience that yourself really. lastly but not the least definitely is decision making <laughs> guys i remember when we were growing up like our parents would make all the decisions for us from what you're going to eat what you're going to wear where you're supposed to be you know what time are you supposed to be in bed like they would make all the decisions for us and sometimes we would be rebellious sometimes you don't want to do this no i don't want to take a nap during day like i don't know if you're from from africa if you're from africa i don't know in uganda in my family like we were always always supposed to take a nap during day 
I don't know, like, we were supposed to take naps during the day and we, we hated that so much. Right now, you really, really want to take a nap, but you don't even have 30 minutes to take a nap during the day. Anyways, when you do grow up, honey, you have to decide what you want to eat. What you, It's not even what you want to eat, what you have to eat. Sometimes you want to eat something, but your finances don't even allow you to eat that thing. You have to decide what you wear. You have to decide where to buy, what to wear. You have to make, like, those are even just, like, basic decisions. But you have to make major decisions. Like, am I... Is it okay for me to get married to this person? Yo, that is a major decision. And no one is ever going to make that for you. And if you let people make such decisions for you, uh, I feel like that is... I, mean, I don't want to say what, but... Really, would you let somebody make such a decision for you? There are decisions like, um, do I move to this city? Do I relocate to this country? Do I... Like, those major decisions, like... And when you are an adult, you have to make them like every single day. Do I take out this loan? Do I do this? Do I get myself into medical insurance? Like you have to make major decisions and it's going to take your entire being out of you to just decide. And you know, the most tricky part is when you decide on doing something and it doesn't quite work out the way you thought it would work out and then you're like i wish i did not move here you know i wish i didn't live that relationship i wish i never got married i wish like it is all tough it is it is tough guys it is tough if you're young please stay young please actually no one is going to prepare you for adulthood yes that is the point no one is ever going to prepare you for being an adult no one i repeat no one do not adult please do not adult don't trust yourself to grow because things up here tough tough hard hard like you you don't even like it might seem like something simple when you're like um what am i supposed to go to bed you know that's simple i'll go to bed at 10 right you've made a decision to go to bed at 10 and then you have a pile of work so you have to decide do i go to bed at 10 do i finish this work you know in finishing that work it's going to have you go to bed at one in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to be up. Eh? You have to be up very early. So, yo, adulting is, is hard. If you're young, please talk, take those naps. Take those naps because when you grow up, <laughs> you'll be on your knees. I think God to make life easier. Just don't rush yourself to grow. Do, do not rush yourself to grow. It, it is not cool out here. It is not cool. The grown-ups make it cool, look cool, because we ain't got no option. We ain't got no option. We, we just got to do what we got to do. But we're surviving through days. It's sad. <laughs> it's sad. The sun shining at the top, uh -uh, it's more brighter. It is shining, shining. It does shine. It is hot. It is hot up here. And yeah, I don't know why I was excited to make this video, but I enjoyed making it so much. I hope you enjoy watching it as well. I love you guys. Make sure you do like this video. Comment. Let me know about things you think life never prepares you for. Things I have not mentioned. Let us share. And make sure you do subscribe, guys. Let us, let us grow, you know. Please uh, subscribe, like, and comment also. Also, hit the notification button to know when I do upload because that is the only way you're going to know when I do upload. I think I was supposed to be a rapper. Yo, if I die, I'm going to come up, come back like Jay-Z, as Jay-Z. Don't you think? Like, rich. <laughs> Very rich. Anyways, guys, I love you so, so, so much. Hit that notification button and please do subscribe. And please let me know what you think about all the videos I put up in the comment section below. And please do subscribe. I say that subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up i love you guys so much for like the third time take care bye